Hello and welcome with T1 versus PNG. Can the Brazilians stop us from equalizing the score to 1 1? We'll have to hope not. We pick up the Yon, that's good. I mean, hey, honestly, yesterday it wasn't too bad. It, it wasn't too bad. <sighs> yeah, I, I mean, yeah, it wasn't perfect, but we, we saw some good things, right? We had lower expectations for the start of this event, right? We knew, right, where T1, we are scaling into the event, but uh, yeah, we had like lower expectations coming into this because, well, spring was, uh, summer was kind of rough. Anyway, they pick Ramos here. Is that, is that coming in? Ramos counter pick here against Yon? Uh, well, I don't think so, right? They have already elected their jungler. Now the Akali counter pick against Yon, I'm, I'm not too sure about that one. But hey, especially, uh, like, they might think that this Yon goes into mid lane, but, uh, <laughs> well, well, maybe actually it is. I, I think Yon was like our like Zeus pick, but hey, let's see what the casters have to say. Maybe they have something smart. Um, yeah, but let's see, let's see. So we press R and our enemies die. That's so far our plan. And again, we don't need to make this overcomplicated. Just play a very good standard game. Nothing too stupid, nothing too crazy. Olaf. Okay, Olaf against Rumble. Well, it seems pretty snowball-y like either way, right? Because there's not just like a lot going on. It's like stat check, right? Does the Rumble do more damage than Olaf can take? Or does the Rumble just live through the, I don't know, EQ and just rip Rumble's face off? We'll have to see. So bands coming in. We are taking the AD carry and support pool here, I assume. Um, yeah, we have uh, tanky engaged junglers. So yeah, the support pool is kind of wide, right? We don't necessarily need engaged supports, but that's kind of where the meta is at. Especially if Ash and Jin are banned, the ability to set a place from the AD carry position is also kind of diminished. On the other side, we have banned the Zaya. Obviously, we don't want the enemy AD carry to be super safe when we press our button. We are banning Rel. Weird. I think that would have been a cool pick for us. Uh, sure, Kerry is not the greatest, like, uh, Rel, uh, Alistar, Leona enjoyer, but that's what it is. Oh, we just slam down Renata Draven. Okay, that's what we want to see. Obviously, uh, Draven a counter pick to Kalista because, well, you cool. You, Cool jumping, uh, catch this axe though, right? There's no outplaying uh, 10 million AD auto attacks, so that's that. Um, and I guess then the Rena uh, the Rel ban makes some sense, right? Because, well, yeah, you don't really want to get your immobile Draven be jumped, right? But there is uh, Kalista Nico, so that's that. Well, we'll have to see. The Renata ult usually pretty good against like melee Zaxxac champions, but there's the Olaf ultimate, which can kind of circumvent that. So depending on the timing, that could be not as reliable as uh, appeal tool, right? But we have enough damage, so even if they maybe get to Guma, there are still other people who can deal with the uh, with the Olaf, right? Anyway, uh, yeah, PNG, they have crazy champions to make things happen in the early and in the mid-game stages, but later on, I think PNG's camp kind of falls apart, right? They still have, obviously, the Nico and the Sejuani for the CC, blah, blah, blah. But that's kind of about it, right? Our champions scale a bit better, especially with, like, the classic AD carry and the Renata and the Yon. It just really looks good what we have elected. Let's just hope that we can make it happen and clap back. And go to one horse. Okay, so coming into this game, no lane swap, just standard laning, very nice. And uh, yeah, still, we'll have to see how the spot lane goes, right? If Guma can really get ahead and get to do things, it's going to be great, obviously. Uh, yeah, the push is going to be a bit tough here. Oh, flash forward. Flash answered immediately. Summoner spell trade. Just, just a standard trade, but carries HP, obviously, uh, chunked by quite a bit. Anyway, let's see what my goat can do here in the mid lane. Faker yesterday looked good, but not really, right? Uh, like the engagers were fine, but they obviously never hit Jin. And uh, sure, like uh, there are many issues with that, right? No one else got to Jin anyway, right? Like not with the owner guy, not the carrier guy. So that's like still like a team wide like error. And the other thing is obviously like the the, the damage was not there to deal with the CC'd uh, frontline as well, right? Because like if we kill the frontline after we CC chain them, then like that Jin guy can do too much of anything anyway. But uh, yeah. Oh my fucking god. 
Hey, hello, hello. This is not what we want. Owner getting chunked, getting his. Did he lose his? No, he did not lose it. Bro, Guma. <laughs> no. Bro. Yeah, our bot lane getting 2v2 cooked is not what uh, yeah, was on top of my bingo sheet for today. Hey, come on, the day has been sh so shit. We can't, we can't, we can't be lo like doing this against Brazil. We just wanted a clean win. Nothing to see, just a, just T1 going in, eating Brazil and moving up and nothing to see. Sadly, that's that's just not happening. There's the Q flash forward and yep, owner does his job. Very nice. Good job, owner. And uh, yeah, Rumble TP's bot, so that's interesting. He's, oh wait, Faker here. Like, especially this is like Buma on his Draven, right? This is the champion. I think he debuted on, if I'm not mistaken. And a carrier for Ren like Renata, that's just. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this one pretty good. Faker, right, goes in a bit over aggressively, baits the engage from uh, Akali player. Again, I can't pronounce the name. And then owner is there. This is very good. This is something we have not seen, like, at all in the last couple of months. Really, like owner and faker linking up to like generate plays. Sure, in most cases it doesn't really matter because well, mid lane is just AD carry farming, Corky and Tristana and Smolder and whatever, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, yeah, still nice to see owner here. Yeah, forced to queue away, but uh, yeah, Kuri flashes. They secure the dragon though, so good for them. Let's just see. Flash forward, carrier does get the W through. But it's sadly not in time. Zeus here. Mm, yeah, he gets a kill, so it's a one for one. In terms of summoner spells, it's also kind of even. Uh, is there anything? Oh, that means bot lane, though. Oof, 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 oof. Aye, aye, aye. Well, edge. Oh. Okay. Zeus doesn't have ult. When did he ult? Probably ulted bot or something. So this guy, he does not have ult anyway, so... Yeah, that's the cash in, plus 400, 500 gold or whatever that was. Sure, bot lane. Actually, they stopped. They didn't stick around to take all of the plates. I was worried that we lose first blood turret already, but uh, okay, that's good. Much needed gold. And uh, yeah, sure, some individual mistakes here and there, but... Uh, oh, Draven. He doesn't have mana for E. Okay, but it doesn't matter. We don't lose any cooldowns either. We're a bit late for the grubs respawn, but we picked up the first three, so it's that much okay, I guess. So yeah, again, individually uh, some slip ups, but overall, like when T1 comes together, so far this game has been like kind of going well in that. Right. Okay, Zeus here. Careful, Nico. Old coming through. He old. The ult is kinda iffy, but yeah, he loses his flash. Do we get anything else here? Okay, flash forward. There's the QE. That's Faker getting the kill. And yeah, he's in the shroud, but it's not going to help for long. Faker stacked up the Q, gets up the Q, knock up or Q3, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, T1 picks up kills here and there. Zeus, yeah. Survived the uh, attack there. Uh, that's 10, yeah, 10 to 10 for 5. So, like, double the plates. And, uh, yeah, Faker here, handshaking a bit. Right, with the Blade of the Ruined King, decently strong, but yeah, it is what it is. Regardless, so first blood turret goes over, and uh, yeah, they're dying, dying a bit of gold there, but yeah, still. Mid lane opened up. And, well, top lane. Yeah, Zeus has some time left with three grubs. He might be able to do it in uh, 13 minutes. If he overheats, it's going to be good, right? He's going to destroy that turret with the uh, stronger auto attacks and the attack speed. And yeah, he gets it. Now he has to be a bit careful, but this Akali 03, maybe not too dangerous. So yeah, overall, again, a bit of a rough start, right? And PNG also, like, I mean, PNG is doing well, but like, these are situations where, like, reasonably T1 should not die. Like, you should not die like at level two in the in the in the bot lane, right? That's just not something that should happen. Like no, and uh, Faker dying to like Kuri gank, right? That's just something. It's like ah, maybe that should not happen, right? And then flashing away and still dying to the denied or auto attack. That's not something that should happen. Anyway, we press Rs and the enemy team is kind of screwed here. Uh, T10 here kind of kills his teammates. There's the old Faker, maybe in trouble there. Avoids the old, but T10 can he say the same? 
Well, not really. Draven cashes in as well and Faker survives the attack of the Nico. Yeah, it's it's going to be a bit of a hand stiff here, right? Obviously now with the gold lead, this game should... Well, I mean, good for PNG, right? 15, 20 minutes, right? We're going to pick up the Herald, but it does not look like the game is going to end soon. So they're going to live longer than, well, maybe FlyQuest, maybe Matt, maybe C9. PNG here... Right, not uh, losing their minds, right, to the pressure. They're still getting cooked, and this game is still, like, absolutely over, right? There's no way T1 throws this, I say, but, uh, no, it's just not happening. Zeus here, like, he might die, maybe, but no. This, uh, yeah, this might, uh, be, uh, like, a Jover. Looks good, but Zeus still has the flash, so it's an absolute desperate attempt. Right, you have to try something, so that's correct, but yeah, nope, you're fucked. And uh, yeah, Faker gets the ult, I mean, carrier ult, Faker ult on top of Zeus's equalizer. Absolutely wild. You don't want, you don't want to catch these hands. No, 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 no. Why are they leaving Faker alone? What the hell? I mean, Faker still has flash, right? Uh... So far, we have seen Neko mid lane a couple of times. Actually, I think two times, so twice. Uh, both times it lost. Both times it looked kind of iffy, right? Even if you find good plays, right? It's just lacking, right? The Nico is not one-shotting everyone, even with like damage builds. So, like not having a reliable mid laner, and it's just not good enough, right? So Nico and support probably better. Oh my! They find the pick onto owner, but is it going to be enough? Well, they, Zeus is a sacrifice and owner gets away. Uh, not so much the hopes and dreams of PNG, right? Because three people and three carry, two carries lie dead on the floor. It's going to be a second dragon here. And they were trying to look for something, but yeah, owner still has the flash, owner still has the old. And uh, PNG, obviously, with like 10,000 gold being behind here. They're obviously lacking in gold uh, to deal damage. And the other side, T1, they have extra levels. They have like many things going for them here. And it looks so fine. But uh, yeah. Even if uh, my bro uh, Zeus gets one shot, right? He gets the ult off. He like gets the Q off. And he's still doing so much damage. Oh yeah. Ah yeah yeah. Hey, F F F F. But uh, hey, stand proud. You you two v two killed bot lane. Like uh, you gained Faker and got the kill there. And uh, hey, you made it this far, right? So it's not all doom and gloom. Uh, no one had the like expectations that Pain could do something here, right? I think no one was that delusional, even with T1 dropping the game, right? I mean, again, hey, they are still right, like living longer than. Uh, like some NA teams or some Western teams. Well, I guess PNG is going to be a, a what is it? America's American a team. So well, that's that. Let's see. Karaoke does not have flash, but he has Q. So T1 is like holding it, juggling it. I'm not sure what they want to do with it. Giving it aggro, probably looking for a turn here, and uh, yeah. And there's the ult, there's the fate. So Faker flash, uh, that's not Faker, that's carrier flashes over the wall. Do they get the revive? Yes, they do. And there's the Q, there's the auto. Guma cashes in once more, and Zeus Faker take care of someone else. 13,000 gold lead here. They don't have a, yeah, when there's a wave in mid lane, it's going to be fine. Uh, yeah, respawn timers are coming around. Kara just split pushing in bot lane. Uh, cool, cool, cool. And uh, yeah, again, they can't end just now. I mean, they could if they really wanted to, but they're probably not going for it right now. Again, no waves, even with the Baron. So probably just reset, spend the thousands of thousands of gold that they have in their inventory. And then, uh, yeah, come by in a couple of moments with the demolition crew. But uh, yeah, T1 Siege, not that great. Sure, we can press R, but yeah, don't really want to do that. Oh god, they yeah, they used the ult from uh, Titan here. Zeus here all alone, presses Q, presses R, gets some damage done. Ripper Reno, they lose the bot lane turret for it though. So, hey, hey good, good by uh, PNG, right? Good, good by them. They, I mean, they, it's a, it's a fifteen thousand gold deficit, right? So, like, 
like a good play is still going to have some cost to it, right? Uh, or rather, there is probably no classical good play, right? T1 will always have a good or even better answer, but at least you're doing something. Here, Faker and Guma just cut down, and yeah, Kuri ulting the wave. Uh, yeah, it's sad, it's sad, but uh, PNG again fought well, especially like early on, right? Making things happen, but then T1 play as a team, secure the leads, and well, then they just beat them down and have superior snowballing. Very nice game. It's a, it's not a nothing to see here, but it's fine, it's fine. We can't be super happy again, it's not a like 15 minute finish or something, but it's fine, it's fine. It's like, I'm happy, we saw good things, good mechanics, no one flashed into walls, sure, again, uh, my friend Guma, uh, maybe you need to be a bit careful there, but uh, yeah, overall, it's fine. Thumbs up, hope you liked it as well, and we see each other with more Wills content soon, my friends.